What happened? They didn't have enough reporters to go see Dion's debut and you got to go? Well, I, you know, I live 40 minutes away and, you know, budgets being what they are, Dave. <laughs> um, and, and, you know, they wanted to see what kind of range I had journalistically, mm. whether I could cover college football and pro football. And I, I do know Dion. Um, and and uh, maybe that was the reason we had a problem. I don't know. Okay. Help me understand here what you wrote that Dion referred <laughs> to. Now, once again, uh, Marvin, can we play the clip where Ed's being singled out by Deion Sanders? What's up, boss? You believe now? You, you, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, no. Do you believe now? Huh? Oh, no, no, no. I read through that bull junk you wrote. I, I read through that. I sipped it through all that. Yeah. Oh, no. Come on. Do you believe? You don't believe. <laughs> you just answered it. You don't believe. Next question. All righty. What was the bull junk that you wrote, Ed? Well, well, first of all, you know, in the moment, it just did not seem journalistically appropriate in that situation for me to meet his demand and tell him that I believed it and whether I do or I don't. Uh, and, and interacting with him, as I mentioned, you know, over the years, he played for the Cowboys, played a long time in the NFL as a Hall of Fame player. And interacting as often as we have, I can't imagine that he really expected that I was going to commit to either position in that sort of circumstance because it was unprofessional to do so. Uh, fortunately, he realized it wasn't going to happen. And eventually he moved on without taking my question because if he was intent on wait, waiting, we'd still be there. But I don't really understand why did it matter? Um, you know, in that moment, after all he and his sons and his coaching staff and his players had accomplished, why did he so for me to dismiss my obligations to be fair and objective and commit to Dion so that he would entertain my question. Um, as for you know, your question, I, I really don't know. I haven't been a writer in 30 years. I don't cover college football. This was an exception. Um, I asked him, as you heard multiple times, what did I write? And he couldn't ever provide an example. And the reason is no such example exists. Uh, I've been doing television for the last 30 years. I'm almost exclusively a TV reporter, as you know. Uh, now, I am active on social media, and some people have pointed to uh, a Twitter post I had in March in which I said this exactly. Colorado's celebrity football coach has made CU Buffs football the most interesting program in the country. It's number two in merchandise sales. Folsom Field suites are sold out, and season ticket renewal rate stands at 97%. Deion Sanders has created attention before his first win. How did how does that somehow make me a doubter? But um, but he's using you as you were a prop. It didn't matter who was there for ESPN; they would have been a prop. You're the face of ESPN, and he's calling out ESPN. He's calling out a group, and you just happen to be the person who was there representing ESPN. That would be my my take on this. He didn't want to hear what was fact. He was performing. True. You know, and I think one of the things, sadly, that's happened in, in the media business now, and I think it plays into this type of reaction, is you can almost argue there are more, there are more former athletes in the media now than actual professional reporters. And so these players have a tendency, I think, to praise one another. Uh, whether deserved or not. And so that leads in a situation like this, if he's referring to my tweet, where somebody sees something um, that's not overwhelmingly positive and instead it feels negative in the context that they're used to. I mean, if that tweet is what came off, and maybe you're right, maybe maybe it was more who I was working for. Yeah. Uh, although, I, as I mentioned, you know, I've covered Dion for a long time and we've had a complicated history. We've had moments where we got along great. And he helped me do my job and consented to sit down interviews. And we've had moments where it wasn't so wonderful. And, and during the Terrell Owens situation, he he asked as a commentator for NFL Network at the time, why couldn't I be the one who was lying instead of T.O. being the one who was lying? So I don't know if you're right. I think it's entirely possible. I also think it is possible that he was overly sensitive to this tweet where I refer to him as a celebrity coach, although I don't know how he doesn't think he's a celebrity. He would be offended if you told him he was not a celebrity, wouldn't he? 